Hi there, Sagittarius. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we are looking at February 8th through the 14th, which of course is Valentine's Day. And this is a really good week for you. It's a really good week for the fire and air signs. And the reason behind, behind that statement is that Valentine's week starts off with a bang and ends with a hug. On Monday, February 8th, the Aquarius new moon welcomes in the Chinese new year of the fire monkey. According to Chinese astrology, monkey years are chock full of curious energetic activity. The fire element makes this monkey year more unpredictable than most because fire years introduce the desire to take risks. Now, if there's ever a sign that enjoys taking a risk or three, it's you. You, Geminis, Aquarians, you do not hesitate to take risks. And most of the time, the risks pay off. Donald Trump, perfect example of a Gemini. Risk taker, you know, doing things that, running for president when, you know, he's not the most well-liked, uh, charismatic person, shall we say, on the planet. But you know what? He's going for it. He's putting every cent into it and you've got to give him kudos for that and like the fire monkey mercury is also fond of risks and it's moving into aquarius now all this planetary activity the sun the new moon mercury is transiting your third house of communication short trip siblings so if you wanted to travel somewhere if you feel like getting out of town for a while, maybe over the weekend for Valentine's Day and stay a couple of days longer, that's going to be a really good trip. If you have ever had an interest in getting into real estate, selling real estate, because that seems to be very a, a profession that is doing really well, that is something you could consider because the online course and everything is actually quite easy to take. So that is another option for you with planetary activity will be encouraging you to do something like that. If you didn't get a chance, Sagittarians, to think outside the box when Mercury was in Aquarius for a couple of days in early January of this year, you'll give it another whirl over the next three weeks. An earthy Venus-Jupiter trine on Wednesday, February 10 and a Taurus moon on Sunday, February 14. Make Valentine's Day very homey and very nice. Now, if you're single, get ready to mingle because it is a nice Aquarius-packed time and a time for you to meet someone worth meeting because it's your third house of communication. And we know you're never one who's lost for a word or 10. And Aquarians are great matches. Geminis are great matches, Leos and Aries, all good matches for you. And I think it's always nice on Valentine's Day, if you don't have a significant other, to spend the day with your uh, single friends and not make it cheesy or anything. Just go have brunch and commiserate or celebrate, however, whichever way the, um, the cosmos is swinging for you. Some people are happy to be single, some people are sad. Uh, Match.com and all of those kind of sites uh, are overwhelmed right now with their subscriptions going up because people are looking for a Valentine's, which it's kind of, um, uh, yeah, okay. So have a wonderful week. Happy Valentine's Day, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.